What's up guys, my name is Greg Lester and this is Game Audio Analysis and in today's video I want to talk a little bit about field recording and how to improve drastically by changing your mindset and developing a strong habit. So the first thing I want to talk about is gear. These days we get bombarded by constant adverts to buy a certain product in order to get better. And it continues on social media with our peers showing off the latest purchases they made. But we have to realize that gear alone does not make you a better field recordist. Diligent practice, however, does. So let's try our best to take away the focus from the tool and instead direct it towards a task, which is capturing interesting sounds. We all carry a really high quality recording device with us 24 seven, which of course are our phones. So let's not let the lack of expensive microphones keep us from pressing that record button. By challenging yourself to record at least one awesome sound per day and keeping up that practice with consistency, you will build a habit out of it. And once that happens, your entire perception will shift and you will stop passively hearing and start to actively listen to the rich soundscape around you. Previously, mundane tasks like pouring yourself a cup of tea will become a gratifying listening experience. Paying attention starts by taking out your earbuds on the commute to work, the way to the grocery store or the line at the coffee shop and ends with pressing record. You will gradually build a mental map of the sounds surrounding you and the best ways to capture them. Experimentation is key during this process, but the most important part is failure. The definition for the term field recording is audio recordings produced outside of a controlled studio environment. So when we go into the field, we hand over the steering wheel to chance and give up the majority of our control. And we will inevitably fail when the weather gets bad, SD cards start to malfunction, the gain staging is off, or the sound that we're waiting for just doesn't want to present itself. By trying daily and exposing ourselves to frequent failure, we invite growth at a fast pace into our lives because failure is not time wasted, but time invested into a learning experience. And in a higher stakes scenario, for example, when you're recording expensive cars, and things start to go wrong, you'll be able to draw from your previous experience, improvise and adapt to find a solution. Along this journey, you'll start to build your own toolbox of microphones and recording devices, which you'll now be able to use to the best of their capabilities because of the time you spend practicing and experimenting. One of the problems that I personally faced is that the more gear I started to accumulate, the less I found myself using it because it felt like too much effort to take it all out pack it and set it up. So to make recording as frictionless as possible, I keep all of my recording gear out on my shelf, organized in a manner that works for me so I know where everything is and can grab it quickly. The first thing I do when I get back from a recording session is always to store away the gear neatly again and make sure to go put the batteries on charge. As everything else in this video, Packing your gear and putting it back is a routine that needs to be practiced and improved in a manner that suits you. The more you do it, the faster and easier it will get. To sum it up in a couple of keywords, pay attention and listen, press record daily, explore, fail and learn when the stakes are low so that you can improvise, adapt and overcome when the stakes are high. And because I practice what I preach, go follow me on Instagram because I am going to do a 60 day daily recording challenge. And if you want to take part in it, post your recordings under the hashtag, the daily recording challenge. How could you forget that hashtag? I it's I was literally like, what? Was it correct? Daily recording challenge. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the hashtag is the daily recording challenge. And that was it. That's it. What an outro. But thank you guys so much for watching as always. If you wanna see more of this face, then hit the subscribe button, obviously like the video. And if you wanna support the channel, then head over to our Patreon, link is in the description below. We post behind the scenes content as well as 
really, really good sound libraries that get updated every so often and currently at over 3000 sounds. So definitely don't miss these. Thank you so much. See you guys next episode.